Hereby call to order this regularly scheduled meeting of the Sutherland Select Board. First order of business will be to approve the minutes of our last meeting, March 26th, 2024. I motion to approve the minutes for March 26th. Second. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. All right. Our one piece of new business today is a ditch discussion. Yeah. So, um... We've had, with the, the rain, a number of residents calling with concerns about the ditches. Um, so I've been reaching out to other towns to try and understand, <laughs> try and understand um, what they're doing and what some of the challenges they're having and what, what they found that works. And um, so the Deerfield Super is out this week, I think. I talked to Hadley last week. Um, they had a big conference, um, I think it was two weeks ago, and they had a bunch of farmers there, and they're running into the same issues that we are. They have permission to go on some property. Um, they have had a line item in the budget to clean out ditches, but um, it hasn't been enough to do more than 100 or 200 feet um, a, a year, so it's really not much and, and they're facing the same issue of there are properties or ditches that have ditches on them where they don't have authority to go on and clean them out um so do you know how roughly how much they're spending for the hundred or so feet i can double check i want to say I, it, it was either several thousand or like fifteen thousand it was either like five or fifteen thousand Okay, but not one hundred and fifty thousand or a hundred dollars. Okay, and they um, they usually hire out somebody. I think they've been working with Carl's Excavating most recently to do the work, um, but they are looking into buying equipment so that their DPW could do it themselves. And I said, well, if you're going to be doing that, let us know because <laughs> maybe we can have some shared equipment. Yeah. Um. Okay, and so. Do we have a good survey of where all the ditches are and whose property is on all of them? So we have um, a list of the properties. It hasn't been updated in, I think, like seven years, I want to say. Uh, so some of the properties may have changed hands, but we have the, the lot numbers, and so we know where the ditches are. We do know where they are. I just want to weigh in a little bit because um, there's some history. I know around 2010... Uh, Sunderland hired Stan Tech Dufresne Henry to do a study on it mm -hmm. and I don't remember the extent of the mapping but I know there was a, a full-blown report that talked about what you can do on agricultural land what you can do on residential land the tricky part is there's a lot of rights you're able to do a lot on agricultural land Wetland Protection Act is pretty forgiving and uh, generous to, for agriculture but when it, if, if your land gets converted to residential it's a whole nother whole nother set of rules um, so the, the, we could. I, I'm going to go back and look in my archive. And there's no grandfathering in. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Yeah, but the, if we can dig up that report, that'll tell folks a lot and, and really kind of put a number to it. But I, I agree that the best thing to do is to get a map. Yeah. To, and if there's something there that we can use, that's great. But just to know the extent of what we're talking about, you know, how many feet of this, where's the agriculture, where's the residential, yeah. what ditch are we talking about? I think all that would would be. A, great first step at least to have the good discussion and uh, it would be great to also spike out where the problem areas are at least the ones reported to us so if you have people coming in be with concerns that we say okay well all the people are on this one ditch maybe that's where we put our energy and it's on that one ditch yeah. um, if it's a even spread well that's a whole other question but um, are we gonna send a letter out to all interested parties and just ask for the, the right of way rights. Ask for them to donate that to the town. Um. Or. Uh, we could. Um, so, I. There are a couple things. One is, the Deerfield person mentioned that they had found some easements. So I did. I found some easements. I want to. They're from the seventies. I want to figure out exactly where they are to begin with, so that I know what what we have. Um, I think that if we send a letter out, there 
right or wrong, there's going to be an expectation that the town is doing something about the ditches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, we could. It may be premature um, to, to be asking for donations until we know what we're doing, but... My thinking is I'd like to... If there's a one property owner that's in a key location that's adamant that they will never give the rights to us, that saves us a lot of time and effort investigating doing anything on that particular ditch because yeah. we know that there's just no chance it's going to happen. Why put energy into something that's not going to happen? But if we have one ditch where even if it's just a, hey, we're, we're, we're asking preliminarily, if the town were to decide to do this, would you be amenable to donating or otherwise you know, giving the rights to us? And we find out that one of the ditches, everybody on that on that ditch has said, yeah, sure, no problem. Then we at least have some place to start. Um, and it also gives us a use case where if we do work on that ditch and then the next year want to do work on a different ditch, we might be able to go back to different property owners who have, were hesitant at first and they'll say, you know, we did this over here. It worked out well. Feel free to talk to the property owners. You know, they're they're happy with the, the progress. We've had less complaints about the, the you know, the downstream impact and whatnot. Um, I mean, that's just my thing. I mean, I don't know that if, I, I understand where you're coming from about the, we don't necessarily want to make it sound like this is something that we're definitely going to do and get people's expectations up. Um, but I think we can certainly craft a letter that makes it clear that this is a uh, probing the, the, you know, the willingness to, to give those rights. Um, now, is this something that our um, town employees have ever cleaned out any of this before? I've been told that the town has helped in the past, but I don't believe I don't believe since the eighties that's okay. the case. It's gotten trickier. I mean the con right. conservation rules. Yeah. I was gonna say the only the only comments is it'd be good to have just to have a good base map mm -hmm. to know maybe at the same times, but that would help with just identifying the property yeah. and, and where the letters would go. No, and I'm perfectly fine with getting the map together, yeah. figuring out where the easements that already exist are on that map, yeah. because it may be that we discovered that, hey, there are only three people we have to talk to on this particular ditch, and we do a targeted thing where we just ask those three people rather than try and ask the whole kid yeah. boodle, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I, I would be perfectly fine with waiting on any kind of communication until we've gotten the map and the yeah the partial laid out and whatnot. And I'm wondering, is it the is it is it the farmers that want help with some of their ditches that they have, where well, they have good rights, or they just don't have the manpower to do it, and they're asking our help, or is it they have problems with neighbors down, you know, up, you know, on one side that are causing the problem that require all the permitting because they can't control what goes on there. I don't know. I, that's a, just a question I have. And then the, other, the last thing I'll say is, I'm a, I've always been curious to know what the grades look like at all the culverts, from the bottom of the hill all the way through to the end, to see if there's any grade. If there's no grade, you can you can do all you want, but that's just going to fill up with material again, and you're going to have, you know, flat flat thing full of dirt. You know, so it's that that's an issue. And then the last thing I'll say is, I'm real curious to know. What happens at the it has at Route 47 on the downstream side when you get an outlet? What's the relationship between all those outlets and the high water level? Does the water level with the 100 year flood go up and over it, or does it is, it? is it is there is it can always free flow? I, I don't know the answer to that. I wish they'd gone out there last summer when we had the high yeah. <laughs> and look at those. But it, you know, just I think you're gonna get that again this summer. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, but yeah. that's, it's just a question because if it, if it, if it's always able to flow out, that's great. You know. And, we should know that, but maybe the water comes up at a 10 year or a two year flood event and prevents it, then yeah, you're not going to get as much water out. Yep. So that's a thing to know, you know. Okay, so I can um, start working on finding that Stantec report, seeing what maps we have available, um, start drafting a letter, <coughs> uh, and then discover where the easements are, the existing easements. Great. All right, any more discussion on the ditches? All right, moving on to old business. Our first order of business will be the annual town meeting warrant review. Yes. So um, I apologize. I was not able to uh, get a planning board member here. Um, I know you had some questions, but the Planning board article is um, at least one of them is is being refined uh, tomorrow night. So, 
Um, we'll just skip that one for tonight and next yeah. week. Yep. Okay. Um, so are we going through and adding articles tonight? Um, adding and recommending? Start with adding? Um, I, mean, I think that at the very least it would be good for us to go through and add all the ones that we know are home runs. You know? okay. um, and if, might if as well the ones re the recommendations on them if they're yeah. easy enough. Yeah, so we can, the ones where, you know, it's like transferring $39 from some account back into free cash. I think we can both, you know, add and recommend that kind of thing. Um, if we, if discussion comes up and we don't, if the board doesn't feel comfortable doing one or both of those things on any given article, we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there, you know. Okay. Check. All right. Uh, so article one is reports of boards and committees. Um, and you just need a regular um, motion, motion to, to add, okay. Yep. Okay, motion we add article one. Do a second. Second, sorry. All right, we motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And do we want to recommend it also? Uh, yeah, right, I mean, I'll, there's. I'll recommend article one. <laughs> I'll make a motion to recommend article one. You need to say more? <laughs> can, can we on this one? We, we only did the the, the adding in a, in, a, in a motion. Do you need separate motions for adding and recommending for each one, yeah. or can we? I think so, so that you can discuss them separately. Okay. If there is. Cool. All, right. All right. Sorry, second. We have a motion made and seconded to recommend Article One. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye three nothing. Thank you. Um, article Two is compensation for elected officials. I motion we add Article Two. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three nothing. I motion we recommend. Um, I think this one because it's your your it's your salaries too. We I don't. Think you don't we don't recommend. Okay. okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm just writing. That's right. Article three um, is the operating budget. So I make a motion we add Article 3. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. Um, and this isn't specific to any given budget, just that the budget is going to be presented under this article. Correct. Okay. Just wanted to there, we will have a budget. Yeah, there will be a budget and it'll be okay. Just want to yeah, make sure that we are. This I don't think we can recommend until we have. Final, final. Final, and I final. I would recommend waiting until Finance Ooh. Committee is available right. to it. But we can add it though. Yes, we yes. can add it. Yes. Yes. Right. Yep. Yep. So that's why we're doing them yep. separate instead yep. of. So, uh, I have a motion and second. I didn't hear. All right. Motion made and seconded for Article Three. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Uh, article Four is the capital budget. So I motion we add Article Four. Second. All right. Motion made and seconded to add Article Four. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And like the operating budget, I think we should wait on recommending that until after we've yeah. actually. Definitely done over that. Um, oh, I just noticed the capital planning committee did recommend. I think it was for nothing. The capital budget. Uh, Article five, prior year bills. I think it's about thirteen hundred dollars in legal fees. Yeah, I motion we rec we add Article five. Second. Right, motion made and seconded. Add Article five. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three nothing. You can recommend this one, right? Yeah. Make a motion to recommend Article 5. Second. We have a motion made and seconded to recommend Article 5. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Uh, Article 6 is um, CPA for 177000 to um, preserve the Graves Memorial Library exterior. I motion we add Article 7. Second. Was it seven, Jeff? Uh, six, 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 six. 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 Okay, six. All right, motion made and seconded to add Article 6. All those in favor? Aye. Aye, three nothing. I motion we recommend Article 6. Second. All right, we have motion made and seconded to recommend Article 6. All those in favor? Aye. Aye, Aye three nothing. Okay, Article 7 is a second CPA article, uh, 25,000. Um, for the uh, shared use path um, match for the Mass Trails grant. 
I motion we recommend or er, that we add Article 7. Second. We have a motion made and seconded to add Article 7. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Make a motion we recommend Article 7. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded to recommend Article 7. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Thank you. Um, article 8 is the administrative article for CPA. Uh, $6,000 for administrative expenses, $25,401.91 um, to pay the debt service on 120 North Main Street, and $28,945 for historic, historic resources reserve, $28,945 for community housing reserve, and $28,945 for open space reserve. Okay, I motion we recommend Article 8. Er, we add Article 8. Sorry. Second. Okay, we have a motion made and seconded to add Article 8. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three nothing. Make a motion. We re uh, recommend Article 8 for administrative costs for CPA. Second. Okay, we have a motion made and seconded to recommend Article 8. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three nothing. Um, articles 9 and 10 are zoning. So hold on. Those. So the, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Article 11 is the expenditure limits for revolving funds, and that's just an annual um, limit. Yeah, so I motion we add Article 11. Second. Right. We have a motion made and seconded to add Article 11. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Make a motion we recommend Article 11 for limits of revolving funds. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to recommend Article 11. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, three nothing. Article 12 is the citizen petition. I'll, I'll ask for a vote. I don't think we need it because I think we have to put it on, but just in case. You can add it. Yeah. And then yeah, we add. can decide later on if yeah. we, the board wants to recommend it. Yeah, so. We'll take it on that. Yep. Yeah, so I'll um, make a motion we add Article, is it 12? Yeah. Yes. 12. Second. Motion made and seconded to add Article 12. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Okay. And then Articles 13 through 18 are um, just the consent articles. You okay. can do that as a... I think you can do that as a block. All right. I make a motion. We add Articles 13 through 18. Second. All right. We motion made and seconded to add the consent articles, Articles 13 through 18. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three nothing. Do those need recommendations on them? All right. Make a motion to recommend consent articles 13 through 18. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to recommend articles 13 through 18. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Okay. So we've got a couple that we're waiting on and then a couple that we're just not going to recommend because we shouldn't or whatever. All right. Excellent. That was less painful than I was <laughs> worried it was going to be. That's bad. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. All right, uh, next up is our operating budget review. Where do we stand? Jeff? So, we. Uh oh. What did I do? Um, we have hopefully a, a balanced budget. Um, we were able to get to a balanced budget. Um, we looked at our health insurance costs and were able to cut about 15000 out of that um, because we, when we looked at what we were paying, we wanted to maintain the two family plan buffer, which we did. Um, we don't anticipate as costs are going up that more people are going to be <laughs> jumping on the plan. So we didn't feel like we needed as much of a buffer this year. Um, so we were able to reduce that. Um, I also realized that when I was doing the personnel committee's recommendations, I had left longevity in, so I took that out. Um, but that was unfortunately offset by the final quote on the landfill monitoring, mm -hmm. which um, went up another two thousand dollars for the PFAS um, testing that DEP is going to be requiring this year. So ultimately, um, this budget proposes using 
$210,451 of free cash um, to balance the budget. Um, I did uh, ask the assessors um, if there was a surplus that we could use. Um, unfortunately, this year they have there are two of the apartment complexes seeking abatements. Um, so they weren't comfortable releasing those funds depending on whether or not um, they wind up having to go to to defend the the uh, tax assessment so um, I think those were the major changes and, how, uh, and just like how much did that leave us in free cash after the two so or? between the two hundred and ten thousand and then the OPEG or OPEG. 50,000 for OPEB and then 1,283 in prior year bills. Um, we would be left with 209,985 in free cash. Right. Which is very reasonable. Um, and thank you again, Peter, for bringing up at our last meeting, uh, reminding us that we aren't having to pay capital anything out of this. Um, and so, yeah, I, I feel a lot more comfortable going in with that much free cash than I would have if we were also trying to put money in capital stabilization and or paying for capital projects that were otherwise unfunded. So thank yeah. you very much for the work on that. We really appreciate yes. it. Yes. Sure. And yeah, just um, this document that is up on the website, uh, the 209,000 in free or 210,000 in free cash is about 2.4% of the budget. If you include our stabilization fund, um, and free cash, we would have about 8% of the budget available in cash that we could have at a special town meeting or something. And what's the recommended 5 to 10 for that? Um, 3 to 5. Oh, okay, so we're actually quite a bit above yeah. that. That's good. Never a bad place to be there. All right. Um, do you need us to vote on that budget, or are we just... Not leaving it until <coughs> um, I think oh so the only other thing that that may that will change is um, we're still in negotiations with the police union so that that line may change slightly but um, I don't think so I think uh, unless you want me to make changes have um, you gotten a more recent um, document from South County EMS. Uh, not, not since the <coughs> two hundred and seventy. I'm just date wise. Have you gotten one in the past week and a half? Um. Yes, I think I got the one that I had not gotten one since what I presented at the last meeting, last week's meeting. Okay, so that one might have another might slight change. change. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I think that next steps, unless there's something that you notice that you want me to change yeah. on here, um, when the finance committee and you come back to recommend the, the article or not, yeah. that would be okay. the vote. Great. <clears throat> um, um, on that end, <laughs> um, because it's part of our budget, um, we have the capital planning committee met. We went over all the requests. Uh, some of the requests we either said no or said next year or whatnot. Um, Jeff, can you pull that up on the screen for us, do you mind? Um, and while he's doing that, just one thing I want to just point out, there's going to be a, about, I think it's $80,000 line item for the school for um, mini splits in there, but we will be getting a chunk of that back. Um, not, you know, a million dollars or anything like that, but I think. Who are you getting the chunk back from? The state. The for state. The okay. The, the main split. I think we figured out somewhere in the twenty-five thousand dollars range we should be seeing back from that. Again, not that that makes or breaks the whole budget or anything like that, but figured the context is important. So the big ones, as always, are our highway department. We have three vehicles. I share this. Thanks. We have three vehicles in question. We've got the backhoe, which is on gear two, the truck lease, which is, says gear two, but we haven't actually gotten that truck yet, right? Correct. Okay. Um, and then the loader, which is um, the thing we put off from last year because we couldn't do it last year. 
Um, the uh, office repairs is, I don't remember the specifics, Jeff, but. Yeah, I think there are some ceiling tiles that had some moisture and the insulation in the roof. Um, and then the steel structure is, he'd, he'd have to put two requests on here, one for this and another for an extra sh uh, shipping container. Um, we have a lot of really nice equipment. Some of it sits out in the rain. We'd like it to not sit out in the rain. Um, and so the steel structure is a request to put up a pole barney kind of structure that will protect our investments from getting damaged. Um, so that was 191000 total for highway. Um, the only thing for the library is the HVAC, and that's the, the thing they ask us for every year, which is just their sort of regular rolling maintenance on the HVAC system. Uh, police is asking for another cruiser. We got one, I think it was two years ago. And then we're on about the every two year schedule for those. Um, and that's 73.5. And then also the public safety complex repairs is 14,000. And that was, it's under police, but it's police and fire. You know, it's, it's is that the one that's the floor ceiling and stuff? Nope, that was ARPA. Okay. Um, I think this is the drain in the okay. Sally Port. And All right, yeah. 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 Um, so that total police is 87.5. And then the South County Senior Center had asked for a 14 passenger van. Our share of that is 6,250 and a little asterisk on the right, uh, MassDOT is paying for 80% of the van. So we're, we're getting a pretty good deal on that. Um, we felt like that was worth that much money for the town. So um, that's a one-time payment, that's not a... Yeah, that's just buying it outright. Um, okay. And if you remember, I don't know if you remember when she came in, but they often go places to do things and they can, they can only fit they can't fit enough wheelchairs, they can't fit enough people, yeah. they've had to rent a lot of vehicles, and that's expensive and a pain, and they'd be much happier if they actually just had one. So that's that one. Um, and then the last is the school, um, rim band phase five, a little shy of 10. Um, the power upgrade um, is 14, and then the heat pumps, as I mentioned before, is 81,000, but we should be getting about 25 of that back in rebates at some point in the foreseeable future. So our total is 405 and change. Um, and then in terms of what's going in, we started with 207.3, we're adding 409, which is the 2.5% increase on this capital stabilization override. Um, and so our going in money is 617, coming out is 405, that's what, 212 left over when we're all said and done. Um, ideally, we'd like to grow that at a faster rate in order to have a good chunk of money there for when the school needs a new roof. Um, but we did feel good at having it be a, uh, you know, more in the more in the end of the year than at the beginning of the year. Um, and this is all stuff that both has been put off and just needs to be done. Um, so anyways, this is what our what the capital stabilization or the capital improvement subcommittee um, voted to send to the board. Any questions on this? Um, I think it all makes sense. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, can we just go back up to the highway department vehicles? Not that I have a problem with any of them, but since we don't actually have, you know, where it's saying truck lease year two, we don't actually have that. That's the only vehicle we don't have yet, or? We don't have the loader yet, because this would be <coughs> kicking off the right. beginning of the loader. But we do have the backhoe. Yep. Yeah. But the one that says the truck lease year two, you said yeah. we don't have that vehicle yet. We don't have the vehicle yet. I believe, if, if I remember correctly, the vehicle has been purchased but hasn't been converted or something like that. Yes, it's it's been, the truck body has been delivered yeah. but it hasn't been outfitted yet. So we're, we're truly on year two of that lease. We have not paid year one of that lease. So okay. The money is there for year one. How, what we do with it and how we pay it has not been decided because we have not started paying. Okay. How long is the lease for? I mean, how long is it? We haven't, we haven't financed it yet because okay. we don't have the. So this is really just earmarking the money so that we okay. can have yeah. go ahead and do all that. I think I think we think that it's going to be between forty. It, for s five years, it's between 41 and 45 for both the loader and truck, um, I think. And 
for six years, I think it would be like 36 to 40. <coughs> and these are leased to own? Yes. yes. Versus lease them and they're all, yeah. right. they're all right purchase. Yeah, okay. yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but we have money from last year for the truck. We have money from this year for the truck. Whatever gets worked out with the financing, if there's money that we've appropriated but hasn't been spent, that just comes back to free cash next year. And right. Or does it? Or does it go back to stabilization? It, it stays in oh, it stays in stabilization rather than coming out of stabilization. It stays in the truck capital account. Okay. We can move it back to capital stabilization, or we can close out that account to free cash. Okay. But one way or the other, if we don't spend the money, obviously we recapture it and. That's yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, and that was actually something I would like to mention is that one of the things the capital committee talked about is trying to maintain where capital money is and make sure it gets back into the capital stabilization fund. So if there is an overage, we, we over budgeted for something and we have an extra ten thousand dollars, rather than that going directly into free cash and getting forgotten about, we'd like to keep track of that and have an article every year that puts this much money from these six accounts back into, or close those out to free cash, but then move the same amount of money. One way or the other, we'd like to try to do that because we're trying to keep the capital money sort of as a, its own, you know. Right, so yeah. just say as an example, that steel structure ends up costing $30,000. We would have a warrant article next year to move $7,000 in excess back to capital stabilization yeah. funds. So that, that money Station, doesn't just get eaten up by the money. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, you know, no, it, you know, I agree. Tempted. Yeah. Um, so anyways, that, that was one of the things that, not an official recommendation, but something that we were talking about wanting yeah. to, to do, and I think it's a yeah. smart plan. Yeah, and I think we just need to, to you know, to, I, I do think it's best to keep that going back into capital stabilization yep. versus... Moving it to free cash, and if we ever get so much money in capital stabilization, <laughs> we could have a warrant article, I guess, to move it to free cash. Or do general stabilization or whatever. You know. Right, but again. I would be very surprised if that happens. If that ever <laughs> happens, I'd like to be the one to make that motion. Yes. <laughs> we, have we have an extra million dollars sitting in capital stabilization. So much money. To be clear, we do not have that extra million dollars. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nope. No. All right, beautiful. Um, and then in terms of our recommendation on this, we're going to meet with the finance committee. Yeah. Yeah. We, we already did. Okay. Yeah. We, did already, already. Yeah, yep. we didn't recommend it, but we did. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. So I, um, does it make sense for me to invite the finance committee next week to discuss and vote on budget stuff, assuming we're I, mean, I think we're pretty much there. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's, that works for me. Okay. Great. All right, that is the operating budget. Um, next up, we have select board updates. Um, went to the Village Center visioning kickoff thing at the library. Uh, very nice uh, presentation by, that's Stan Tech too, right? Yeah. Yep, by Stan Tech. Um, learned a lot of stuff. It was very informative. Um, very interested to see how people react to the various um, posters and whatnot they have up there. They are leaving them up for two weeks, so if you anyone at home hasn't had a chance to take a look at them, feel free to hit up with the library and do so. Um, so that was very successful. Thank you, everyone, putting it together. Um, let's see. I think that's everything from my end. All right. So, yeah, we had South County EMS last week. Um, I think there's just a couple little, hopefully, they can tweak before. Like, um, there's a internet... Comcast type bill they're trying to get straightened out that's just a very high dollar amount um, telephone you know so it won't make a huge difference if they're able to get those updated numbers but you know there's a few dollars is a few dollars yep. but other than that all's good all I had to do with the thing I said is about the uh, Village Center Committee, very well attended two sessions. The first one was actually had more attendees than the second, which will surprise a little bit, but the overall, there's a lot of folks who came, a lot of great comments. They're still up at the library. I would also recommend there is educational stuff, additional information if people want to learn a little bit more. 
I'm trying to get the library to, to, to get that material out um, so that people can look at it. But feel free to go over, put comments up. I think with another week at least. Yeah. So there's still another week to, to go have a look at the materials and weigh in on what you think about, about all of it. That's it. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Uh, that's it for select board updates. Jeff. So um, just to add that the presentations from last week at the Village Center meeting are available. Uh, FCAT recorded it, thank you FCAT. So uh, YouTube and public access. If you're interested, um, please watch that. Uh, speaking of the library, you're turning 20 years old uh, <laughs> the day after town meeting. So Saturday the 27th, they're having a birthday party at noon. So if you can come celebrate the library. Absolutely. Um, Today we got our new phone devices in. We have not tried them out yet. <laughs> we have not gotten that far, but um, we did get them in, so that's exciting. Excellent. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention is we did get a request to waive a building permit application fee. Um, the situation is that the applicant applied for a building permit with one contractor for a, a pretty sizable building um, and a pretty sizable fee. Um, didn't change plans, but switched their contractor. So a lot of the information from the permit application as far as insurance and you know license are, is all different. Um, so typically they would just pay a new fee. Like I said, this is a pretty, pretty big fee. Um, in the the five figures so since um, there hasn't been that much of a change there was a request to reduce the fee there is still some administrative work the town has to do to review the application but um, since the plans didn't change it's not as onerous as if it were a completely new application so um, wondering if the select board would entertain uh, the request to reduce the this building permit the just to administrative costs so again maybe you haven't sat down and figured it out but is a thousand dollars reasonable for administrative fees is twenty five dollars for administrative fees five somewhere you know what I mean yeah I have not figured it out. <laughs> you know because uh, again I I don't have a problem, especially when you're talking a very large amount for usually who this from one contractor to another, that, you know, that's all covered and covered fairly. Um, we aren't dangerously impressive on this, right? We are allowed to review these individuals. Initiatively, who this from one contractor to another, that, you know, that's all covered and covered fairly. Um, we aren't dangerously impressive on this, right? We are allowed to review these individually. Yeah, the, the, anybody can ask the select board to waive your fees. <laughs> okay. So, right. And, um, you know, if this was, if this was a $200 permit and it's going to cost $200 in administrative costs to do everything, obviously, you know, it, yeah. but if this is, you know, you said a five digit or a five figure yeah. permit. That's a lot of money to pay again. Yeah, um, and and if it was if it was an electrical permit or plumbing where the inspectors are paid out of the fee, it might be a different conversation. As a building permit, we pay the building commissioner's salary, so it's not like we're taking money out of his pocket. I, I just say prorated. I mean, say so they paid the first fee, and if we did ten percent lower. I, and we need to duplicate the 10% work to then make the new fee 10% of what the original one was. And just prorate it that way. Yeah, I mean, as long as uh, that covers everybody. So could find out what a reasonable number would be. So, so it's hard for us to make a decision if we know what the number is. So the number might be $9,500, in which case we're just going to send $10,000 to you with our lives, or it might be $100, in which case we might even just decide, heck, you know, we're just going to make it, whatever. But it'd be nice to know what that number is. If it's $1,500, that's $500, in which case we're just going to send $10,000 to you with our lives, or it might be just $100, in which case we might even just decide, heck, you know, we're just going to make it, it's whatever. But it'd be nice to know what that number is. If it's $1,500, that's a good number to know. Um, and then we can, at next week's meeting, Hopefully we'll have that information and we can make a informed decision at that point. Right, because I mean, there's the building inspector has a clerical staff. Yep. Yep. That you know they're going to have to 
you know, earn an hourly wage to change insurance companies, change mm -hmm. all the names, reprint, repost, whatever, you know, make those, I don't even know if they still have those blue cards or whatever <laughs> you hang in your window, but. Um, and are we worried that we're going to come up with a number and then there's going to be extra work down the line that we didn't account for that we're going to wish we'd asked for, for more? Or is it... What I heard, only the fee is concerned. Mm -hmm. The fee hasn't changed from when it was... I mean, the calculation would be exactly the same number? Okay. Has even little inflation? Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind getting us uh, at least a educated estimate of what that would be, um, we can then figure out what we want to do. The, the board might end up taking that number and saying we're going to do 120 percent of that to go to a little rumor or something like that. You know, whatever. We'll figure that out. But we need to have that number to be able to even have that conversation. So, yep. all right. Anything else for me? Yep. All righty. Any public comment? Peter, did you have anything you want to say? And Cynthia? Oh, uh, conversation. So, yep. all right. Anything else for me? Yep. All righty. Any public comment? Peter, did you have anything you want to say? And Cynthia? Oh, Cynthia, anything on the line? No, I kind of had one question about the building permit. Do we know how old the original permit is? Because usually they have a six month timeline. Um, the, a building permit was not issued. Okay, got it. Okay, thank you. All right, that should be it. Um, at this time, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I motion we adjourn. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, three nothing, seven, twelve. Keep it on. Thank you very much.